Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Box Office Talk. This is the show where I break down what happened at the box office, see if my predictions for the top five are correct, and then make predictions for next week's top five. So let's get right on into it. Last week I predicted that number one would be Rings, number two would be The Space Between Us, number three would be Split, number four would be A Dog's Purpose, and number five would be Hidden Figures. And unfortunately, once again, got a big old goose egg, zero out of five correct on those predictions. Of course, but let's go over what happened on this great Super Bowl weekend. First up, number one was Split. This weekend it made $14 million, and that adds to a domestic total of $98 million. It's almost to $100 million domestically, but on the worldwide chart, it is already at $142 million. This is the third weekend in a row where Split is number one, and that is fantastic. I'm so glad that Rings didn't overtake this movie Speaking of rings, though, that's exactly what number two was. Very close, but thankfully Split beat it out by a million. It made $13 million this weekend, and it, apparently it was released in other places. Um, and On the worldwide chart, it is at $28 million. Now it has a budget of 25 and it technically needs to get to $50 million in order to be considered a success. But, and I think because the worldwide is so strong that it'll possibly get there. I'm not sure if it's something that they'll make a sequel out of, like they'll try to franchise Rings again. I don't think they're going to try to do that because it's not as successful as the first movie. But maybe, quite possibly, if it gets more viewers somehow, even though it's a terrible movie, um, maybe they will. But I don't I don't think they will. Uh, number three was A Dog's Purpose. It made $10,824,000 this weekend, and that adds to a domestic total of $32 million. And on the worldwide chart, it is at $42 million, and it's only $2 million away from doubling its budget. And that's very good for this film. Take that, PETA, trying to say that videotape was totally legitimate, only for people to investigate and find out that it was completely completely false. So thanks, PETA. Number four was Hidden Figures. This weekend it made $10,100,000, and that adds to a domestic total of $119 million. That's fantastic for this film on its way to get to $150 million. Uh, that is very fantastic for this film. I think like it is quadrupled. It's I think it's quadrupled its budget at this point. It's on the quintuple uh, thing at the moment, I think. Um, I forget what quintuple was. I think that's five. Anyways, number five, speaking of five, is La La Land. It's the same as last weekend, though. Like, last weekend was La La Land at number five, and this weekend is La La Land at number five. Pretty convenient, if I say so myself. It made $7 million this weekend, and that adds to a domestic total of $118 million, and that's very good. And on the worldwide chart, it is at $268 million. That's fantastic. I'm really rooting for this movie to get to $300 million worldwide. I'm hoping it does. I think it will, because it's doing fantastically everywhere. People are loving the film, so I'm glad people are going out and seeing it. Hopefully it gets to $300 million worldwide. At number six, however, is Resident Evil, the final chapter. And I was thinking that by this week, the worldwide chart would be at like 100 million, and it really isn't. On domestically first, it made 4,500,000 this weekend, and that's uh, a total of 21 million domestically. And on the worldwide chart, it is at 86 million. Now, that's still the doubling point of the $40 million budget, but it's not as strong as other Resident Evil films, especially recently. So I think it's a good thing they decide to end it off here because it clearly shows that people don't really care about these movies as much as they kind of used to, even though it still technically made a profit. Uh, number seven is Sing, also the same as last weekend. This and La La Land are at the same spots. It made $4,080,000, and that adds to a domestic total of $262 million, which is very good for the movie. And on the worldwide chart, it is at $487 million. And, I, and I'm thinking quite possibly it'll probably get to $500 million worldwide. Maybe it'll get to like $490 and stop right there, but I'm thinking it has uh, enough uh, power behind it at this point to get to 500 million worldwide, but we'll see if it's even here next week. At number 8, we have Lion, which actually went up on the charts from number 14 to number 8, so more people are going out to see it, probably because of the Oscars. It made $4,006,000 this weekend, and that adds to a domestic total of $24 million. and on the worldwide chart, it is at $38 million dollars. So that's very good. It tripled its budget recently and it's going on its way to quadruple it. Maybe it will, maybe it won't because it is like more limited released than the other films and not too many people even know what this movie is, but it's still doing very well for what it is. At number nine, we have The Space 
between us. I thought for sure it was going to get number two, and it didn't, surprisingly. It made $3,820,000, and that is on a budget of $30 million. So this is another big flop for 2017. This and Monster Trucks. Welcome to the party space between us. And finally, number 10, we have Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage, making $3,700,000, and that adds to a domestic total of $40 million, and on the worldwide chart, it is stuck at $135 million. I was thinking maybe by the time it got down to number 10, it would have doubled its budget worldwide of $85 million, but it hasn't, so I'm thinking maybe we won't be getting another Triple X movie anytime soon like they were hoping for. But now it's time for the fun part, the predictions for next week's top five. And I'm going to say number one will be the Lego Batman movie. Number two will be Fifty Shades Darker. Number three will be John Wick Chapter 2. Number four will be Split. And number five will be Rings. But what are your predictions for next week's top five? Leave them in the comments below. And if you got your predictions right for this week, you're going to get a shout out right now. Unless you didn't get it right, then I'm sorry. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time.